the Jewish courtyard of Külseg. The building complex where all the institutions that enable members of the community to live as Jews are found in one place is called a Jewish courtyard. When entering through the gate, you will find yourself between two single-story buildings, both of which contain two rooms. The building on the left once held a classroom, Heder, and the teacher's apartment facing the street. Here the children studied the Talmud and the Torah, as well as learned how to write, read, and pray in Hebrew. Behind the building, facing the courtyard, was the ritual slaughterhouse. Here the shohet, slaughterer, slaughtered kosher animals, mostly geese and poultry. According to religious regulations, the two most important of which are that the animals should not suffer and should be completely exsanguinated. The ritual bath, known as the mikvah, was situated behind the building on the right-hand side and had four main functions. The purification of Jewish women after menstruating, the spiritual purification of Jewish men, the ritual purification of visitors of the synagogue from their sins, and the cleansing of the kosher kitchen utensils. The rooms were occupied by the supervisor of the bath, the shamash, caretaker of the synagogue, who was also the prayer leader. After leaving these two outbuildings behind, we approached the synagogue. The term synagogue is of Greek origin, synagain, then have them make a sanctuary for me, and I will dwell among them. Exodus 25, 8 In Hebrew, it is named after its different functions. Bet ha tefillah, house of prayer. Beit Knesset, house of assembly. Beit Midrash, house of study. Beit Din, house of judgment. Baidin is a rabbinical court, consisting of at least three ordained rabbis who are scholars and experienced in Jewish law and religious observance. Above the entrance, the tablets of stone upon which the Ten Commandments were inscribed and arranged in Jewish order can be seen. Tablet 1, Commands concerning God. Tablet 2, Commands concerning men. Immediately to the right of the entrance, the original plaque commemorating the founder is displayed. Proceeding from the entrance on your left hand side is the staircase leading to the women's gallery, women's section, Ezrat Nashim, the area designated for women in the synagogue. On the right hand side was the entrance to the Geniza, a storage room or place in a synagogue where disused writings and books are temporarily housed, since their disposal is prohibited according to their religious regulations. This rule not only applies to religious writings, but also to private documents, contracts and letters, since writings that are written in Hebrew or contain the four letters YHVH, referring to the name of God, must not be disposed of. In the functioning synagogues, a small handwritten piece of parchment with a passage from the scriptures known as Mezuzah, Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 9, 11, 13 and 21, in a wooden, metal or plastic case is attached to the doorpost. It is considered inappropriate to enter a synagogue without wearing any kind of headwear. Besides the hat, the most common form of headwear is a kippah or kapel. A sink for ritual hand washing is placed near the entrance to the foyer or hall, where one or more collecting boxes, referred to as tzedakah, boxes are also found. The Aaron Kodesh is usually placed on the wall facing Israel or on the one facing Jerusalem if the synagogue is located in Israel. 
It is a chamber or niche, usually concealed by a curtain, parochet, where the synagogue store scrolls are kept. On the pulpit, bima, in front of the Torah ark stood the Torah reading table, shulchan. High up in front of the ark burns the eternal light, ner tamid. A reminder of the light that burned continuously in the ancient temple of Jerusalem and the divine presence, Shehinah, it is represented by the two candelabra illuminating the ark with its candles and the Torah cabinet are original. The synagogue and the local community. The synagogue of Kuseg was built between 1858 and 1859 in romantic style. It was taken over by the local community on 24th December 1859 at the end of the Jewish calendar year of 5620 at the time of Hanukkah and during the same year in which the Dohain Street Synagogue in Budapest was completed. The inauguration ceremony took place the following year. The financial resources necessary for its construction were provided by the town's richest citizen, that is merchant Philip Shea. The building's special and unique design differs from the majority of synagogues. The building complex stands on an unbroken row of building sites. It is only a short walk from the gate to the distinctly small prayer house with its circular base and two towers. The design of the dome, with its tent-like hipped roof, is a mixture of neoclassical and oriental architecture. During the previous centuries, some buildings stood on the site of the synagogue, the owners of which can be traced back to the mid-17th century in the archives. The first known homeowner, Thomas Power, was a potter and a stovemaker during the middle of the 17th century, before a printer of Huguenot origins, that is, András Vekelius, and his wife Orsoya acquired the property in 1663. Vekelius was invited by the Lutheran community to the town, where he worked as a printer for 17 years. In accordance with the custom of the time, his widow took over the trade after his death. Later, the property was bought by a hatmaker, then by a town councillor called senator. Moreover, during the 18th century, the teacher of the Catholic children lived here for several decades. The ancestors of the Shai family had migrated here from Moravia, settled on the Esterházy estate in Lackenbach, and lived in Western Hungary for centuries. Israel Shai, a merchant, and his son Moses moved to Kőszeg between 1785 and 1786 following the Edict of Toleration promulgated by the Emperor of Austria, Joseph II. Together, father and son purchased the property a few years later, on 20th of April 1792. The construction of the synagogue is linked to numerous events both on the local and national levels. In the 19th century, the Jewish population grew, as did its ability to enforce its interests. Therefore, this religious community, which had been deprived of its right for centuries, was given the opportunity to settle and acquire property. In Kőszeg, 92 Jewish inhabitants were recorded in the 1828 Hungarian census as opposed to 157 in the one carried out in 1848. According to the first census conducted in 1869 during the Austro-Hungarian Dual Monarchy, the population of the Jewish congregation was 177. Philip Shai had no children, given that his wife was almost completely paralyzed by a serious illness in 1858. Perhaps this personal circumstance influenced his decision to make a donation to the community. In his written request on 15th January 1858, 
he announced the intention of the local Jewish community to build a synagogue and a school. The town council contributed to its construction by donating 40,000 bricks. In spite of research conducted in Kuse, Budapest and Vienna, the architect has yet not been identified. However, without a doubt, the artist commissioned to paint the interior was Chaim Berleb Rosenfeld, who also worked on the synagogue in Rechnitz, Austria. An extraordinary fact about the synagogue in Kuseg is that Shei spent 20,000 forints on its construction and furnishings. In 1860, the interior, known as the chapel, could seat 100 men and 100 women. Since Philip Shea was Orthodox, initially the synagogue was arranged according to Orthodox customs, however later on it functioned as a neologian prayer house. In his will, Shai bequeathed the building to the Jewish community of Kuseg. In 1944, during the Holocaust, the Jews in Kuseg were deported and the synagogue fell into disuse. After World War II, it was regarded as derelict and the place of residence of its owner was registered as unknown. In 1952, the synagogue was nationalized while in 1962, the town council intended to convert it into a library, but this never happened. Although several plans were proposed to make use of these derelict buildings, finally the Institute of Advanced Studies Kuseg initiated its renovation that was funded by the Hungarian state in 2021.